Okay, so today we're going to make this fun churn dash quilt block. To get started, we're going to need four half square triangles. Now, I'm making a nine inch block, so my half square triangles are three and a half inches right now. So you need four of those. Uh, be sure to check out my half square triangle videos if you need to know how to make those. We also have a three and a half inch square block. And then we need two strips of fabric. They're two inches by 15 inches. We'll place the right sides together and then we'll sew one quarter of an inch on one side. Okay, so next we're going to press the seam. And then we'll open it up. Now we want the seam to be pressed away from the light side so that we don't see the seam through that white. So can you see how it's pressed towards the darker color? So next we're going to turn this into some three and a half inch blocks. So I've got my little um, square here and um, I'm going to trim off the edge just to get it square. So then I'm going to take the ruler and I'm going to do three and a half inches. So one, two, three, and then a half. So I'm going to place it on the end. I'm going to line up one of these lines with the seam where it meet, the fabrics meet. And then I know it's square. So this side is square, this side is square. And I'm going to cut right there so then I have a three and a half inch square. So we'll just repeat that to make four little blocks. Now we just need to put together our block. So we're going to take our half square triangles. They're going to go in the corners with the dark pointing towards the middle. And then our uh, strip, strip blocks are going to have the dark pointing towards the middle as well. So all the way around the dark part of the square will go towards the middle. And then of course our, our plain white will go in the very, very middle of the square. So next we'll just sew them together. So we'll just start with the top row and start sewing. So now we need to sew our rows together, but before we do that, we want to press our seams in order to get a flat seam. So what we want to do is on the top and the bottom row, we're going to press toward the middle. Now the middle row we want to press away from the middle and the reason is because it's all white so we don't want those seams to show through. And then on the bottom we'll press towards the middle again. So now that they're nice and flat, we will sew the rows together. One last press and then we'll be done.